morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Doing great. Good to be here, right? Yeah. Change so, of setting. Uh, got a chance to practice and work at, at a different setting, which, you know, last night we uh, had a team presentation to talk about our woes on the road. You know, at home, our margin of victory, I believe, it was almost 30 points per game. But yet on the road, it was our margin of defeat was very similar. So what is that? The approach to the entire thing has to be a change of mindset. Okay, what the, you know, what we're capable of and what we showed at home and what we kind of allowed to transpire when we weren't. So it's a huge focal point for today. We'll be in full gear. I think you guys will get a kick out of it after we go to our tacklers. We'll go right to old school Oklahoma hamburger drills and we'll lay those boards or those agility bags right here in the end zone and get a chance to see our guys just rip off the football at every position. Um, let's go guys as well. You know, fit each other up so you can knock each other back and continue emphasizing physicality. So, but all is uh, going well. How's it game, come man? to be to come here today? Oh, this is incredible. I mean, this is what you watch on TV because usually the opening is held here and it's a dead period and you wish you could get there somehow to watch it. Well, now we get to practice here. Good memories for a lot of the guys. They were here. You know, they've been here before for that particular event, but, uh, you know, we haven't had a chance to practice on grass. This is great. You know, this is uh, certainly a tremendous opportunity um, in so many different ways. So, in a lot of ways, it's also a tremendous honor and privilege. You've been talking a lot to these guys about appreciating everything they have, the facilities, the opportunities, and this is just another one of those marks of the season. That's a great point. I mean, who else has this? Really, nobody does. So for us, gratitude, the words please and thank you are very important words in our vocabulary, in our culture. And this is an opportunity, another opportunity to show our gratitude by coming out here, practicing as hard as we possibly can and knocking each other sideways until we're completely exhausted. Are you guys yeah. just practicing up here or doing anything else with, with Nike at all? We're going to practice. We're going to practice. Uh, I wish we had more time. We kind of got to get the guys back and watch the film and everything else. So. Uh, we will we will practice. We do have, you know, some of our families, for example, my wife, she's never seen this. And her and a lot of the other wives and families will get a chance to, to tour, you know, headquarters and see all the great things that are here. It's the longest road trip you guys are going to take until October. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know, well, let's do it again next week, right? Let's turn around and come right back and do it again. This is, I mean, look at this place. You know, it doesn't get any better. But it is. and But it is has to, it has to be taken uh, with an approach of changing the mindset of what we do once we get on those buses and leave, you know, our facility, um, and you can't you can't underestimate the importance of practicing that. And it's yeah, this is the only time of year that we have to prepare for that to get ready for that. So we're gonna take full advantage. Of so you're practicing it. that too. You're practicing getting to the the site just and things a, like that today. I, I, you know, just a different approach. You know, making sure we understand that it can't be phased, can't be frazzled by. You know, there's a different locker room you're gonna be changing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, the timing of everything is off. The fields are different. You got to practice in different spots. Drills got to go to different spots as well. So I think anytime you can kind of change things a little bit and let guys just say, man, that's, that's part of it. Just go play ball, go adjust, and make it happen. What is the process of hot weather practice like this? The process? Yeah. It's, it's like a chamber of commerce day for me, man. Come on, I'm from Miami. <laughs> I mean, heat, heat index down there is about 126 right now, right? Humidity about 100. So we know what the, the temperature's been getting up there in practice lately. I think today we should be at around 95. Just always have to be very mindful, right? Anybody that has sickle cell condition, you always have to have a training staff member assigned to them at all times. You've got to make sure that you have structured practice. So yeah, of course, you're challenging and pushing your players but also in increments where the rest is, is properly organized. Hydration is always at the forefront of everything so that there's never an accident. Um, and always have to have a watchful eye, right? Because sometimes guys go up and down. We weigh them, you know, we monitor their weights uh, very diligently because that also fluctuation in weight up or down could also mean an issue. So, um, but it's good, we have to get used to practicing in the afternoon. We're a morning operation, okay? We practice in the morning all the time. And we have afternoon games as, as late as you know, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. We have some as early as 11 o'clock, so we have to get used to time changes as well. What's the competition shaping up like at inside linebacker? It, it's Alongside pretty fierce. No, and there's no doubt. There's no doubt, though. Those guys have really taken it upon themselves to be very physical, all right? And, and going against an offensive line like this, guys like Shane Lemieux that have been here a while, Capra, Dallas Warmack coming on, Calvin Throckmorton, you know, Lana being back full speed has upped his game tremendously. Okay, Isaac Slade, he is a very natural, instinctive playmaker, and he wants to be on the field, and he's shown that he belongs on the field. Adrian's playing some outside now, but he's also played inside, and as Keith has done both, 
Um, MJ Cunningham is showing a lot of things as well. So you look across the board, there's there's actual competition now. I mean, we're, we have a two deep where guys are fighting for playing time and we want to play guys. And um, one thing to note, you know, you'll see Bobby Williams managing um, and conducting our special team spirits. We're also talking to our guys about snap value, meaning, hey, you're not only competing against that first team linebacker, you're also competing against the third team tight end for that spot on the kickoff return team. So guys have to show that they're competitive and willing to try to take a spot at more than just their respective position on the side of the ball. Have you been happy with the way things have gone the last few days? We're excited about it. I, I, I hate to use the word happy in camp. It just doesn't, mm -hmm. right? It's not synonymous. Camp, happiness, no. I mean, mm -hmm. camp, excited, fired up. Um, I would say encouraged by the physicality about the progress taking place. Yes, I think when you use the word happy, you just kind of given a human nature and there's a, I don't know, there, there's, does anyone else get that sense or is it just me? I just, <laughs> I'm just, you've been through it more than we have. Yeah, right, yeah. right. So I think what it does, it kind of lends to um, just kind of giving in a little bit. We are pleased with the effort and energy by our guys. You know, we have the GPS system that monitors your threshold. And your threshold, you kind of set your baselines throughout the course of an entire year, particularly the summer. What is that strength conditioning plan doing for you? And so because of that and the way that we've monitored, everything has been on an upward trend. Now you have to monitor so you don't peak and right go down that slippery slope. Everything has been trending upwards. And uh, we're going to test them today a little bit. You know, we're going to test them today a little bit to see if we can go. This is the end of a five-day set before we have a day off tomorrow. Um, so we have a lot of answers, a lot of things to answer in today's practice as it relates to red zone. You'll see some red zone stuff. Um, you'll see the the hamburger, you know, old school Oklahoma drills. I want to say hamburger. I want to call it <laughs> Oregon drill. Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Aaron, you went old school hamburger drills, right? You win one of those. No, you knock somebody it. back. You call it what? Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Oh, see, here we go. Oregon. <laughs> So, uh, so we want to test them. We're also going to, uh, you're going to see the stressing of fundamentals across the board. We start every practice with a turnover drill and a tackling drill, mm -hmm. which is something that we have implemented uh, via something we learned with the New England Patriots, and we want to, we want to certainly push that upon our players. Is this the only time you're coming to Portland? If we behave and they invite us back, we'll come right back. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'd like to be here as often as we can. It's hard during camp. Um, it's a perfect setting. It really is. It's just far enough but close enough where you can make it work in a day. Um, and at the same time, it's again, it's it's about as, as good of a facility as you can want to have, mm -hmm. right? And the proximity of the field so you can work both fields, which offense, defense, special teams, the big guys, the little guys on the other field. It's perfect. Breland started 11 games for you last year, but so far it seems like McCormick is, is running with the ones. What have you seen from, from McCormick, and then kind of what would you just assess with the tight ends? This well, year I, I wouldn't call it ones and twos yet. Right. I, I'd strictly say organizational sure. charts because we have to, and they're in magnets, so you right. can move them around, right, top to bottom, and all that kind of stuff. It's way too early, sure. way too early. I mean, there are guys right now on the second team that are poised to go and make a run at a first team job, and um, you just. It's not time now to make a decision. We've been in pads for two days. We're going to go full pads today. We still have to see him and play in critical situations and whatnot. So you're looking at a very good position group, real good one. Uh, they've increased their physicality. You know, Jake could really stretch the field now. Okay, and Cam's really improved his ability to get down the field as well. They both have soft hands. I don't want to downplay, you know, Kano Dillon, and, and I don't want to downplay uh, Ryan Bay. And what he's done so far, and, and, and Spencer as well. I mean, we have some guys there that can do some things. So that, that position right now is exactly how we want it. Competitive, right? We guys are going after each other to try to get the job. And let's see, uh, let's go find out who the best one is. Hey, Coach, we'll take a couple more for you. We're going to take a couple more for Coach. Alex is ready right behind you guys as well. For your defense, obviously, it took a step last year. What's the next kind of step in the evolution of that unit? You know, mm -hmm. where, where do you want to see them be this season? Kind of yes, sir. Generally speaking. Of course, of course. I think it's just like the offense. You know, naturally, you, you have another step where you're more productive. Um, we've got a lot of really good players back, so we expect to be, you know, better against the run. Um, better against big plays just like on offense we want to be better at making big plays and be a better team controlling the line of scrimmage so I think it's similar I think they're parallels they mirror each other um, but just the next natural step is improvement certainly we can't go the other way we can't level off I don't think you ever level off so uh, that's what we demand of ourselves as coaches and as players first game pads today 
No, third day, really. Third We've day. been in pads. I mean, they okay. call it shells, but come on now. You know, I mean, here. <laughs> the <first full laughs> guys are ripping around, knocking each other around. So it's been it's been good. But this is full pads. First full pad. Day. We will stay up. We are not going. If we end up on the ground today, we we shouldn't be. Absolutely, we want to stay up. That's how guys get hurt when they're on the ground. So. You'll see coaches running around like crazy, doing everything possible to keep guys up. You do not you do not want to be on the ground when you're not full tackling. That's a word. It's like the cardinal sin of coaching and practicing. A little How bit many? random, but have you seen the fanny pack trend on your team? Got a couple guys really rocking the fanny packs. I'm missing something. <laughs> Again, I, I live a very boring life. You know what I mean? I, I get there early. You know, I go to work and uh, I continue watching film the whole way through and leave. But um, please send me some information on that so I can become aware of it and certainly do a better job addressing it next time. Or how many scrimmages are you going to hold during fall camp and when might those be? We're going to hold three. Three. We're going to hold three. I'm going to get you those dates. Uh, the last one being more of a, yeah, we'll start it with the ones, but then it'll be a heavily uh, involved twos and threes type of scrimmage to find out who rounds out that top 60 to get on that airplane on that bus. Well, no airplane for a while, but get on the bus, right? <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate Thank it. You.